going on everybody this is pastor shay aka chaplain g coming back at y'all with another word of encouragement for today so yo check this out i was reading this passage this morning coming out of first timothy and i got the i got the sense man that paul is giving timothy instructions on leadership so he, he's almost serving like as a, a leadership mentor and this section of the passage as he's giving these this mentoring advice right he's mentoring him on not only the cause of, of why they're doing what they're doing but also the motivation that you have to have to get to the cause of why you need to do what you do and the thing that he says his leadership lesson that paul gives to timothy is love and it's not just it's not like <laughs> it's not this cultural this current cultural definition of love, right? This is a this is a God-centered, God-ordained, God-driven love for your people. You have to love your people in order to lead them. Let me let me read this passage for y'all. Let me talk to it a little bit. This is First Timothy chapter one, starting at verse three, right at the beginning. Y'all check this out. It says, "As I urged you when I was going to Macedonia." Remain in Ephesus so that you may charge certain persons not to teach any different doctrine, nor devote themselves to myths and endless genealogies, which promote speculation rather than stewardship from God that is by faith. The aim of our charge is love that issues from a pure heart, a good conscience, and sincere faith. Certain persons, by swerving from these, have wandered away into vain discussion, desiring to be teachers of the law without understanding either what they're saying or the things about which they make confident assertions. So, yo, know, I know this is in the realm of like building a church, right? This, this is what Paul's talking to Timothy about. But you could take what he's saying and you can you could transplant it into other areas, right? Like as as you're stepping into a leadership role, which is what Paul was trying to get Timothy to do. You have to have a love for your people, and you have to have the right motivation of why you're doing what you're doing. If you don't, Paul says that like you start getting into like all these speculative rumor mill, um, not loving your people type situations, and. I think it's where a lot of our current culture has gone astray. We look into politics, like as, as these politicians are uh, going back to make these laws and, and different things like that, they go up there and they get caught up in all these speculative things, all these little side hustles that they try to do, all these book deals, all these backroom conversations, and, and they leave what is right and true and what is honestly supposed to be a stewardship from God. They're not going up there to serve themselves they're going up there because god is is giving them something that they're supposed to steward well the people they're, they're supposed to go up there loving the people and the love is not when you love your people it's not just like i said it's not this current definition of love where like love is love and whatever other hot mess that people say paul says the aim of our charge is love that issues from a pure heart, a good conscience, and sincere faith. Pure heart, good conscience, sincere faith. If you don't have that mix, if you don't have that mix of things, I can, t I can tell you, the people that are like just kind of throwing up with that word around, the people that get into these leadership positions that... Uh, they say they love their people, but they don't. They don't have a good heart. They don't have a good conscience. They don't have. They don't have that pureness of heart that they're. They're just there just for that reason, and they definitely don't have a sincere faith. And then it just it just goes up in smoke, man. And so Paul is is charging Timothy, yo, I'm, I'm putting you in in this spot, right? Because I want you to remind these people not to chase after all that hoopla. That they be doing over there our our charge is from god himself he wants us to love these people he wants us to lead them and when they go to lead them the motivation they need to have is not for their own selfish game it needs to come from a pure heart 
a sincere faith and not just faith that everything's going to be okay the faith he's talking about is faith in in christ we have to have those things to have good leadership because anything short and you start getting to all this craziness right and he says when that stuff happens people start swerving they start wandering away into just just lip smacking like vain discussion it says they want they want to feel like they're the experts in what they do but they don't even know what they're talking about because the, their aim is off and so they often left field just talking all this way and yo if you want to see a great leader and I've known some great leaders. I've, I've run across a few great leaders. What they have, that I notice right here, what they have, they have a pure heart. They have a good conscience and they have a sincere faith. And if you want to be a great leader, those are the things you need to have. <laughs> Otherwise, you get to swerving off into other these other crazy instances and you no know, you could be a leader in your home you could be a leader out in the community you could be a leader in politics you could be a leader in the military wherever it is that you find leadership your leadership role those are the three things you need to have and uh you know anything else is just a different doctrine it's a, it's a, it's a it's an unpure motivation so check your motives as you're going out into these leadership roles just like paul uh gave to timothy so I pass along to you. Hopefully it's a word of encouragement for you. Yo, please make sure to like, share, subscribe, all that jazz. This is one that was kind of specialized, and uh, hopefully you can find yourself in it. If you know a leader and you're like, man, this person needs to hear that. My boss needs to hear this. Yo, you can blame it on me. You can just say, yo, check out what this pastor said. But, um, yo, I love y'all. Hope y'all doing well. I'm praying for you. And, yo, until next time, grace and peace.